Hello friends. Welcome back to our channel. I am your Catalan Studio Instructor and my name is Kumaresh. Thank you for connecting with us. Hope you are doing well. Let's start our today's session. Today, we are going to learn about test case reusability in Catalan Studio. When generating test steps in a test case, we can also call another test case as a test step. This feature helps to implement the script reusability concept in Catalan Studio. The manual view while calling the test cases as test steps are look like this. Basically the the called test cases are treated as reusable components and using the test case variables, we can pass the test data to the test case. Here is the script view of the same. This article guides you through how to call a test case in manual view with detailed demonstration. Let's start the demonstration to see how to call test case. We are going to create the reusable components with the existing test cases. Here, Three reusable test case components will be created to cover invoke, login, and close browser functionalities. First, we will create a folder with name reusables where all the reusable test cases will be stored. Copying the existing test case and paste it thrice. Rename each of the instances as Invoke, Login, and Close App. Now start with Invoke Test Case Component. Double click on it to open the Test Steps section. Keep the steps related to Invoke Application to show the login form and delete rest of the test steps. We will now create Test Case variable for URL which will be used to pass the test data as argument while calling. We will go to the manual view and replace the hard-coded URL with the newly created test case variable. The reusable test case for invoke application is now ready. Now we will work on login test case component. Keep the steps related to login functionalities and delete rest of the test steps. We need to create two test case variables for user and password which will be used to pass the test data as argument while calling. We will navigate to the manual view and replace the hard-coded user and password value with the newly created test case variables. The login reusable is now ready. We are now left with close app component. Here we will keep only the close browser step and delete rest of the test steps. Through this, all the reusables are completed. Now, we will see how to call this reusable test cases from the original test case. First, open the test case and remove all the existing steps. 
save the test case and drag the invoke component into the test step section of the original test case. Double click on the input field and provide the test data for URL into value section. Change the value type as string and set the URL value. Click on OK button to confirm. Similarly, we will call the login test case and double click on input section to set the test data. We will update the string type test data as user and password here. We can also assign the global variable value as well. Click OK to confirm. At the end, we will call the test case close app which does not have any input value. The original test case is developed with call to reusable test cases. Now, we will see the execution of test case to ensure that the call to test case concept is working correctly. Click on run button to initiate the exaction. The execution of the test case will start immediately. The execution will takes couple of seconds to complete. First, launch the application and proceed with the steps which are defined in the reusable test cases. After completion of the test execution, execution summary will be appeared. If we expand the log viewer, we can observe that all the reusable test cases are called and executed successfully. Thanks for watching this video. That's all about test case reusability in Catalan Studio. We will learn more about Catalan Studio in upcoming videos. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domain. You can check our other website as well. We have features like YouTube Trends, Twitter Trends, Scientific Calculator, and many more other tools. If you like our video, please like, comment and share. If you have any questions, please comment and we will resolve your query.